The EDS Journey Home On Christmas Eve, the EDS admire themselves in their brand new outfits. They stamp it this way and that in the moonlight, looking for puddles, bits of broken glass on the ground. In fact, anything shiny that would show them their reflection. By morning, they were more pleased with themselves than ever. We look so smart, said the first Ed, whose name was E.D. This is the best hat I've ever had in my whole life. Yes, agreed the second Ed, is was called Double D. The other E.D.S. will be so jealous when they see us, and just think, we will never have to make another pair of shoes ever again. Pity that, said E.D. I was getting quite good at it. Well forget about it said Double D because we don't have to do it anymore. Now I think it is time we started off for home. So, Ed and Double D set off towards the forest where he lived in a bush with two dozen Ed boys. They should be careful you two said it was above them. The EDS stopped and looked up by Rolf the farmer who was sitting on a bench, looking at them. Just make sure your Ed boys do not get those lovely new clothes getting old plucky and dirty he said. I know what you Ed boys are like, always getting into mischief. Oi, don't be ridiculous, said E.D. We would not ruin our wonderful new clothes. Of course not, agreed Double D. Hum, said Rolf. We will see. You all see, and with that, he went into his shed. What cheeky he is, grumbled Double D, as the E.D.S. set off down the path once more. They have been walking for quite some time, then Ed suddenly stopped. Where are we? he asked. Are we stay on the right path? I'm not sure said Double D hang on a minute, I'll climb this tree and have a look around. He scrambled up the tree and investigated the distance. Yes, we're still heading in the right direction he talked to E.D. Double D started to climb down in some tree branches that slip down. Rip. Oh no, cried Double D I've torn my lovely new trousers. You certainly have, said a voice nearby. It was the Rolf the farmer again with a goat named Victor. Have you been following us, asked E.D. I suppose so. Said Rolf, trying not to giggle. I would just wanted to see how long it would take for you to ruin your beautiful clothes. Well if you just go home, said Double D, as we continued climbing down the tree. Suddenly, he slipped again tearing a large hole in the sleeve of his jacket. You look a right mess. Said Ed trying not to laugh. Double D was jumping in front of him. Double D looked very cross at him. Never mind, he said as he filmed us down the path. Let's just keep going. See you later, said Rolf the farmer, as he went back to his shed once more. A bit of further. The EDS came to a stream with sticking stones going across it, and branches hanging over it. Look at me, shouted Ed, as he tried to balance on one of the sticking stones. Suddenly, he splashed fell head first into the water. You look a mess, said Double D, helping Ed out of the water. Where is my hat, asked Ed anxiously. There it is, said Double D it was cool from that branch. I will just reach over and rip. Oh dear, he said. I am so ashamed. Look what you've done to my beautiful new hat, cried E.D. It is ruined. It wasn't my fault, shouted Double D. I was only trying to be helpful. Not doing very well are you, said Rolf who had went back again. The E.D.S. glared at him. Come on said Ed setting off across the stream. He didn't bother with the sticking stones because he was already soaking wet. Rolf walked past them. See you later, he waved again. Go away, both EDS shouted at him. They were very, very cross. Next the EDS came to a marsh. How do we get across this, asked ED. We will be all right if we keep to the edges. Said Double D. He suddenly cried as he slipped.
squelch. It was a brown thick gooey mud, and his new shoes were ruined. Ed was stepping carefully around Double D, trying not to get splashed when suddenly. He slipped too, and he grabbed Double D as he fell. Squelch squelch. Both EDS fell headlong into the brown thick gooey mud. When they stood up, they were covered in mud from head to toe. Oh dear. You two looked dreadful, chuckled Rolf as he went overhead once more. Go away, muttered the EDS, as they pulled themselves out of the marsh. They really were very, very cross. So when they went, until they came to a farm. At least there was a path through there said Double D carefully pushing the gate open. Just at that moment, something grappled him by the arm. Ouch, he cried, then. Rip. The sleeve was torn off his jacket and something began to picking holes in his trousers. It was a goose. Ed dashed away trying to escape, when suddenly, ah 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 he felt himself from flung high into the air. When he landed, Victor the goat was looking down at him. Then Victor began to chew his beloved hat. Don't do that, cried E.D. Why not, asked Victor. It's very tasty, and I'm hungry. Please leave us alone both of you. Double D begged. We are not doing any harm. All right, sighed the goose. As he stopped pecking at Double D's trousers, and Victor the goat stops chewing Ed's hat. But we're only doing our jobs. Said the goose. We thought you might be dangerous. What are you doing here anyway? We're trying to get home. Ed explained. We had been given these lovely new clothes, and we were going home to show the other EDS but now my clothes were ruined. Oh my, shocked Rolf as he fluttered into the farmyard. You two really do look a proper mess. They do, don't they, said Victor the goat. I'm afraid we didn't help, said the goose. Oh what can we do, asked Ed beginning to cry. We can't go home like this. And both EDS started weeping. Even Rolf began to feel sorry for them. I don't want to have to make shoes again. Sobbed Double D shoes, said Victor the goat. Shoes, said the goose. Can you really make shoes? Yes. Said Double D sniffling. But we do not want to have to do it anymore. Ever. Not even one pair, asked Victor the goat. Double D looked up at him. Why, he asked. Well said Victor the goat. It is just that the Rolf's boots are falling apart, and I heard him complaining that he can't afford to buy a new pair. Perhaps you could help. Suggested the goose. We could persuade the father and his wife to make you some new clothes. Ed and Double D looked at one another. I supposed we could make just one more pair they said together. So they went all off to find the father and his wife. Next morning, the EDS stepped out into the farmyard wearing their shoes which had been dried by the fire, and polished as good as new. Their smart new hats and jackets, shirts and trousers. Goodbye, and thank you. Ed and Double D called waving to Victor the goat and the goose as they left. Try and be more careful this time, called Rolf the farmer as he went back inside the shed. Don't worry, said Ed and Double D we will be very careful, this time. I wonder where they were said Eddie to Ed and Double D what do you think?